Hello again to all you color lovers out there. Located in Pittsburgh's north side is an off-the-wall garden museum featuring a collection of zany wall murals and a cluster of reclaimed creations brimming with color and personality. The place we are talking about is none other than Randyland, otherwise known as the most painted house in the world. Randyland is a colorful ode to joy created by self-taught artist and homeowner Randy Gilson, whose dedication to joy, creativity, and his community is clearly represented in his masterpiece. He purchased the quirky building on the corner back in 1995 for a mere sum of $10,000. On a part-time waiter's salary, he had no way of getting approved for a mortgage, so he made the entire purchase using his credit card. Over the years, Randy, a die-hard salvager, used numerous recycled artifacts and donated junk as canvases to his art. His tips as a waiter have also helped in making Randyland what it is today. For Randy, color is therapy, and the last 25 years have been spent painting and adorning his building's exterior and garden with some of the most unusual artifacts in some of the funkiest patterns and brightest colors. He does get help at times, but for a large part of the journey, it's been a one-man show. Among the multicolored pattern staircase is a meticulously hand-painted neon green vine making its way up the handrails. A family of giant rainbow butterflies are permanently positioned between the second floor windows. A back wall is filled with colorful signs indicating the nationalities of the thousands of people that flock to the site each year. Colorful garden chairs hang from magnificent heights along the metal fire escape railing. There's so much to feast your eyes on with an element of surprise at every turn. We haven't even begun scratching the surface. You'll have to go and see for yourself just how much heart and soul went into the making of this special place. Randyland has become a main attraction and a catalyst in the recent revitalization of the Mexican War Streets District in Pittsburgh's north side. The neighborhood now boasts some of the most beautifully restored historic streets in Pittsburgh, in addition to a nice selection of art exhibits and museums to visit. That's a far stretch from the rundown urban stopping ground that it used to be back in 1995. Randyland is located at 1501 Arch Street in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You can't miss it. It's the painted rainbow bright yellow building on the corner of Arch and Jacksonia. The train and bus drops you off a few blocks away. However, I recommend driving or taking an Uber directly to the site. Pittsburgh is very much a driving city. Randy Land is open to the public from 10 a.m. till dusk, which is somewhere around 7 p.m. Admission is free, but donations are always welcome. Since this eccentric outdoor museum is never complete and always a work in progress, oftentimes in the afternoon, Randy can be seen in his colorful paint-splattered clothing working away on a project. They say he's quite chatty and approachable, so feel free to strike up a conversation if you do see him. If you're headed for Pittsburgh's north side, Randyland has got to be on your list of happy things to see. It's a cheerful little haven designed to light up the entire neighborhood, and it's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. So what do you guys think of Randyland? Is it a place you'd like to visit one day? Or perhaps you've already checked this one off your bucket list? If you have any personal experiences or any additional tips on visiting this quirky place, feel free to share it with us in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos on the bright, the bold, and the colorful. With that said, I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see each other next time.